Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be smoking up some spam hashing eggs on my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. Stay tuned. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, before I get started on this cook, I do want to mention that this is a collaboration cook with a bunch of other great YouTube channels. Type in hashtag GotSpam into your search bar on YouTube and you'll see the other channels and their contribution to this collaboration. We were talking about spam one night on my live chat and we decided, hey, let's do a spam collaboration. It's never been done before. So we decided to do it. So check them out as well. Let's get to this cook. Stay tuned. All right, so let's go over the ingredients that I'm gonna use for the Spam hash and eggs. I've got six medium-sized yellow potatoes. Uh, we normally eat russet potatoes, but these yellow potatoes have a thinner skin, so we like to use those. I've got two serrano peppers. These are optional. You don't have to put them in, but I like it a little bit spicy. One medium onion, a green bell pepper, and a red bell pepper. Got some salt and pepper here, and three cans of Spam. Now, I probably won't be using all three cans of Spam, but for sure, two of them. Okay, now there is a shortage on spam right now. I don't know what's driving that, but there is a shortage. So you can either buy this 25% less sodium, which is the same as spam, just less salt, which is okay. Or they also have spam in a package, which I've never seen before. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice these vegetables up. Now these, I'm gonna cut them into half inch cubes. These serrano peppers, I am gonna chop them up nice and fine. All right, so the onion, I am gonna cut these in, in rounds, probably quarter inch thick rounds, and then quarter that as well. And these, I'm gonna cube them up, probably about half inch squares as well. So I'll be back as soon as I chop these up. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got our vegetables chopped up. And again, I cut the onions into rings and just quartered them like this. The serrano peppers are finely diced. The potatoes are about half inch squares. And also the bell peppers are in half inch squares. So let's get to the spam. All right, so I took the spam out of the can and I'm gonna cut this also in about half inch slices just like so. And you either love or you hate spam, right? Hopefully you guys watching this video love spam like I do. We don't eat it a whole lot, but we enjoy it for breakfast. We're actually gonna have this for brunch today. So again, just half inch. If some of them are a little bit thicker, it's okay. Because we are gonna be smoking these. All right, so I've got our spam sliced up and I'm just gonna space these out on my chopping board like this because we are gonna apply some seasoning to them. All right, so the rub that I'm gonna apply to the Spam is from Victory Lane Barbecue. This is their beef rub and seasoning. And I'm just gonna apply a very light coating just to give it some extra flavor. And you'll see exactly how much I wanna put, just like that, okay? Nothing really heavy. I'm gonna season both sides. All right, so I've got these Spam seasoned up. Now let's get to my potatoes and how I'm gonna put these in the smoker. The Spam's not gonna go on yet, okay? Once the potatoes are almost ready, then I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the Spam. So I've got a 12 inch skillet here, cast iron skillet. Gonna put enough olive oil on the bottom of it. And my smoker's been on for about 30 minutes and I've got it set at 400 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna put the potatoes in the skillet Just like that, spread them out, no seasoning or anything. Let's head outside to the smoker, stay tuned. All right, so once again, my smoker is set at 400 degrees. Now I wanna put the skillet with the potatoes on the bottom shelf. Okay, just like that. We're gonna let those get nice and crispy. Once they're almost ready, then I'm gonna come back, go ahead and put the Spam on the top, lower the temperature, and put the vegetables in the skillet, stay tuned. All right, so the potatoes have been smoking for about 30 minutes now. Again, 400 degrees, and they are nice and soft. I have been mixing them about every 15 minutes, just kind of coming out here and stirring them. So the next step, I am gonna add some salt and pepper, kosher salt, and also some black pepper, coarse ground. Okay, we're gonna mix this up a little bit. These are nice and soft, nice and buttery too. 
and they will get crispy. Okay, so to this, I am gonna add my vegetables. Now I did mix them up so they're nice and mixed, that way I don't stir the potatoes a bunch. Got the onions, the bell peppers, the serrano peppers that I chopped up nice and fine. Look at that beautiful color. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the skillet back to the bottom. Let that continue to cook. All right, so for the spam, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the top shelf. Just spread them out evenly. Got some of that Victory Lane beef rub and seasoning on the spam. This is gonna get nice and crispy on the outside as well. Some of the drippings are gonna fall into our potato and vegetable mixture. All right, so I've got my spam on and they're evenly spaced just to get smoke in between them. Now I am gonna lower the temperature of my smoker. Remember, we're at 400 degrees. I am gonna lower my temperature to 315 degrees. This is gonna smoke for probably 15, 20 minutes or so. I'll let you guys know. I just wanna get some nice color on the Spam, some good smoky flavor as well. We'll come back in about 30 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been 30 minutes since we put our Spam on. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, that is perfect. It's actually getting nice and puffy. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Let me pull the shelf out. But look at this sucker, it's getting nice and puffy. There it goes, getting down because it's cooling off. So this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. And I've got a chopping board right here on my shelf of my smoker. I'm gonna chop these up into half inch cubes. All right, so I'm only gonna chop up about half of these. The other half, we're gonna save them for another day. So just about this many. These I wanna let continue to smoke for a little bit. I've got my chopping board right here. I'm just gonna cut them into small cubes. You can see there. So I'm gonna chop these up, come back, and put them in the hash. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got my smoked spam cubed up. Let's go ahead and throw that in the skillet. I'm just gonna put it on the top shelf, make it easy for me. Just like this here. And I may or may not have already tried the spam. <laughs> I actually tried it and it's really good. So just put your smoked spam on top of your tater mixture here with the vegetables, just like that. All right, give it a good mix. Oh man, this is gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna turn the smoker back up to 400 degrees and let the potatoes and the vegetables and the spam get a little bit crispier. This is ready to eat. If you wanna eat it, you can go ahead and eat it just like this, but I wanna get these potatoes nice and crispy. So I'm gonna turn the smoker up again, 400 degrees and let it smoke for another 20 minutes or so. See you guys inside and let's cook up some eggs. Stay tuned. All right, so our spam hash is about 10 minutes away from being ready. So we're just gonna warm up our pan here, fry up some eggs. Now I am going to cook the perfect sunny side up egg. And in order to do that, you wanna start with a very low temperature. So put your pan on there. This is gonna take some time. Put it on your lowest setting on your stove. Put some olive oil, put enough of that on there, okay? In order to end up with a perfect sunny side up, you have to take it slow. So I'm gonna let this skillet warm up for about five minutes before I even put the eggs on. I'll bring you guys right back, stay tuned. All right, so our pan has been warming up for about five minutes. So let's go ahead and put our eggs in. Nice and slow, just like that. Okay, so I'm not gonna put any salt until these are ready. So what I do next is I am gonna put a lid on it. That way you don't end up with a raw egg and that's gonna help cook that egg. So I'm gonna let that go for probably five minutes. I'm not gonna flip it. Again, we want some nice sunny side up eggs. In the meantime, I'm gonna go pull the spam hash from my smoker and I'll bring you guys right back so we can plate this up. Stay tuned. All right, let's assemble our spam hash and eggs. Now the spam 
and potatoes has been smoking for a total of an hour and a half. Okay, I left that in there a little bit longer. So let's just grab a couple of spoonfuls here. Put them on this plate. Man, this is nice and hot. The vegetables didn't come apart. They're still nice and whole. The spam, the potatoes, everything just looks absolutely amazing. Man, it smells really good. Those bell peppers are smelling delicious with the onions. A little bit more. Just like that. Just place them on the top, just like this. Look at that. Does that look good or what? It is brunch time, fellas. Let's give it a taste. Okay, our Spam hash and eggs is nice and plated up here. Now remember, I didn't add any salt to the eggs, so at this point, I'm gonna add some kosher salt just on top of the eggs like that. And let's see how we did. Let's cut into this yolk here. Both of these perfect sunny side up eggs. Look at that. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, here we go, see how we did. Mmm, that is so tasty. You know that serrano pepper gives it just a little bit of kick, but that smoked spam, the potatoes, the vegetables, everything is absolutely perfect. We're gonna have some brunch. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna leave links in the description box to everything that I use in this video, from the knives to the cutting board. Hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Till next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.